In today's video, we will be taking a look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Man Bat. Stay tuned. All right, and welcome back to the show, guys. Welcome back. And right before we begin, this figure came at a request from uh, one of my subscribers. His name is Angelo. So if you see him in the comments, make sure to follow him. Show him some love. He requested this figure. And if you guys want me to review any figure, reach out to me any of my social media, whether it's Instagram. You can reach out to me there. I'll be posting toy photographies there as I'm getting into that. Don't have an Instagram and like Twitter, which is what I like, reach out to me on Twitter. Or I'll leave also a description of my email if you want to email me or comment in the comment section like Angelo did, asking me to review this figure. So after a long wait, waiting for him to arrive, I finally got him. And guys, let's jump in. We got a lot to discuss about this figure. Uh, definitely off the bat guys just so you guys know this figure is not intended for the filmmaker this is for the collector who wants to have him on the shelf but I was uh, moving him around looking him around looking at everything we're gonna discuss a few pros and when I say pros it's more of the aesthetics of it which is a beautiful figure a beautiful horror piece to have and then we're gonna talk a lot about the cons Okay, so before that, let's begin the housekeeping. McFarland, thank you so much for the stand. Not really needed, but appreciated. And you know, guys, I love the trading card. And the fact that the card doesn't come with toy photography is sad for me. But this is the material source or the source photo. And then behind, guys, you can get an idea of who um, the man bat is. All right, let's jump in real quickly. Let's talk about this guy. Off the packaging, it is a hefty, hefty figure. It's extremely heavy. You can definitely feel it. It's a lot of plastic like McFarland says. He's always saying, look at all the plastic I use. However, guys, because of the heaviness of the figure, I have him leaning back because McFarland has made these, uh, you know, kind of like, Biped, bipedal kind of uh, legs with their bented knees, you know, just to give him that hunch look. It's so heavy that the joints can't hold him up. And that's what we're going to talk about, that this, right now, guys, as far as this figure is concerned, this figure, uh, you have here a piece that I believe is more of a statue piece than what it is a uh, action figure, uh, you know, toy. This is not a, uh, this doesn't have, it doesn't stand up well. I have them there in the back, but we're going to bring them in closely, at least for right now, so you guys can look at the details of it. I have them in this pose, and you'll see why it's not much in the, in the way of articulation. Believe it or not, the way they sculpt it or the way the figure feels and the texturing of it, even the jeans and everything, it feels like a NECA figure. It doesn't feel like a McFarlane figure. It, I, I don't know if I can say it, but the NECA figures have like a rough texturing when you feel their action figures. And that's what we're getting here. We're seeing, you know, you guys can see closely. It's like a love the texturing. It's supposed to be jeans, but it feels more like a corduroy. Um, mine has a couple of uh, the blue scuff mark. But uh, unlike the ones, unlike those reviewers who get these action figures for free, I pay for this, and I can complain in McFarland. You gotta definitely do something about that. So overall, right now, you guys can see where I had the figure. The fig. Now I'm gonna try to stand him up, but if you guys notice already, look how heavy that is. I'm not doing anything. That's just the waist articulation. So my advice to you guys. Those of you that are collectors, I guess, and there's a gap there. You guys can see the peg there, and it does separate on there. So the figure is extremely heavy, top heavy, extremely. Um, for you guys out there, I'm sure I don't need to tell you, you. You guys are collectors out there. 
you're gonna need either helping hands or you're gonna need the metal flight stand, but the really strong one to hold him up. This figure does not stand up very well. I'm gonna have to probably, like one of my viewers said, add Mod, mod Podge, I don't know if I said that correctly. Some of the scales here, some of the hair here is very, very coarse, very rough, so it does hurt when you're trying to move the figure. Look at the detailing. Man, it's, it's almost got, for me, a wolf aesthetics to it, and it, I don't know. And to be honest with you, I've been waiting for a long time to get a man bat figure because all the ones that I've seen look very cartoonish. Even the DC collectible one was terrible from the video game. That one was horrendous. And that one was over $100 and people were complaining how terrible that figure was. This one is not that bad. It looks fantastic. But again, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. He's not holding up very well. You're going to need helping hands uh, to help him on there. So with that said, you know, we've looked at that. We've looked at, let's look at the face. Look at that. Guys, I'm just going to hunt. I'm going to hunch him over here so you guys can see. Either way, not much in the way of articulation. And now when we get into the articulation, you're going to see a lot of fumbles and stumbles. This, to be honest with you, I think that McFarlane made the decision to almost make this a statue versus an action figure because, honestly, uh, you can't do much. You can't bend this knee any further. It's got double jointed knees, but... This is as much as you can do, but you can't do anything on it. I mean, you can do this type, this type of look, but that's it. This figure is meant to be not on the ground, more like a floating type of uh, effect on your stand. It's supposed to look like this, all hunched over uh, from the sky looking down. So I, I get it. I get what McFarlane was going with this, but this is more of a statue. This is not an action figure, so... You're not going to see a lot of articulation. And again, guys, I got to put them there against the backdrop because these things are so weak. They came very loose on there. I will say something, guys. You guys know that I'm a big fan of McFarlane, but I am a paying customer like you. And like you, I recommend a lot of McFarlane. But I don't know how I can say this without sounding like I'm gonna hurt somebody's feelings out there and it's sad that I have to say it like that but I don't think that this is a piece that I would recommend anyone who's looking to make a film unless this character is gonna be just standing in the backdrop you're not gonna get a lot of movement from him and guys at $39 that we pay for this figure the jaw doesn't articulate and McFarlane I know you watch my videos don't act like you don't this is a $10 toy with supposedly 22 parts of articulation and for 10 bucks I get a jaw that articulates so that's you know I'm willing to pay a little bit of the money McFarlane if you include a steel stand to hold him up straight and if you make the jaw articulated I know that my friend Bones he did a review on this figure fantastic review but he, I'm not as daring as he is uh, as I'm learning how to customize and he actually articulated the jaw He knew what he was doing on there, but overall guys This is actually a statue piece. So I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna work the articulations with you But you're gonna have to be a little patient because this guy is so heavy. He's falling all over the place We see that the head goes side to side. You know that right the arms they go out this far and that's fine the bicep is on, it almost looks like the ratchet system, but I'm gonna to try to ratchet it in, but this is as much as I'm getting from it. This is as far as you can get the extend the arm. There is no wrist swivel since he's holding onto the wig, and this is as much as you're gonna get on that. So that right there is letting you know how much articulation you're gonna get from this figure, okay? You saw already that he was hunching over because all of this is extremely heavy, okay? We've got that gap, so that's probably going to be a huge turnoff to a lot of people. This is as far as the legs will go. There is no front articulation. There is no putting him or standing him up straight. This is the way he is designed. You saw already that you can do double-jointed knees. You saw 
Now we're going to jump to this part here. We get a, a toe articulation since you're already seeing it here, but it's hinged here more in the middle. We've got the sculpted articulation, super weak. I'm going to have to add the mod. You get that kind of swivel, you get that up and down. So again, guys, this figure is not meant to stand. This figure is more of a piece that will be put on a very, very expensive, um, on a very, very expensive flight stand. If you have the metal ones that I've seen that are for super heavy ones, or if you get a pair of helping hands, welders helping hands, but you're going to have to contend with the, you know, the weird, um, extracted type of, uh, arm articulation. So again, guys, I, I, I don't know how I feel because if I add him, I'm going to have to do a lot of mod when it, filming it. If you're a filmmaker out there for me right now, guys, because I wanted a man bat, I definitely going to put him on one of my shelves on there, but I'm going to reinforce him with one of the metal flight stands I have. I don't care if it looks ugly, but the, he's supposed to be flying. It's not going to hold his body up because it's so heavy, but at least standing up, it'll help. So the joints don't get worn out or broken. That's it. That's as much as I have to say about this figure. Overall, as a statue, he's aesthetically pleasing. And if you're going to make a diorama to make a statue, I highly recommend this guy. You're going to make some kind of a him over a rooftop looking down, menacing like that, screaming. Go for it. But do not expect to put him in a film. I recommend him if you're a collector and you want this in your collection, absolutely. You want a statue, this is it because this is the, the goal that McFarlane was going for. You want it in your film, you're going to have to work magics on him. Uh, poster putty and Mod Podge. So again, guys, I don't have anything else. If you like the video, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the ring, ring the bell to get notified when I'm uploading. I'm constantly trying to upload. And I think that I'm going to announce my schedule. My schedule for uploading are Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. With a couple of days in between to take a break and be able to not only produce these videos for you, but my personal life and my career. So with that said, guys, follow me. Subscribe on this channel. Let me know your thoughts. Let's have a conversation about this piece. Like I said, I don't know if I would recommend it. I'm, I'm really, really up in the fence on this. So you guys share with me. One more thing before I go, guys. I know that I'm all over the place, but I, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I'm just in awe with this figure. And when I say awe, it's just taking them out. I, I don't know if I, if, if I feel like I'm disappointed. You do get a mega figure. And when I was... I'm going to try to do my best all the way to the top of his ears, even though his head is slightly, because I can't get him to stand up straight. But what I've got two times that I've measured him, I've got about 8.2, 8.1 is what I'm getting on that. So it is a mega figure, guys. This will stand over Batman. It's going to tower him. It's not going to be the same size as most figures are. So with that said, I don't have any further information or review about this figure. So this is Red. And guess what, guys? You know it. I am out.